Okay, <laughs> hello again boys and girls. Right now we're going to talk some more about the rainforest. Here's a picture of an, a collared anteater, I guess. The collared anteater eats ants and termites on the ground and in the trees. <clears throat> it breaks open their nest with its sharp claws. Then it whips out a long, ooh, a foot long sticky tongue which it uses to catch the scurrying insects. You need one of these to pick up the ants at your house? <laughs> wow. Anyway, it has, look at what it says, long sticky tongue. It's about a foot long tongue. Well, let's hear about the ants now. Army ants are large and brown and yellow in color. They sweep through the rainforest in huge numbers eating everything in their way. Their favorite foods are insects and spiders, but they will eat any animal that cannot escape their attack. <clears throat> okay, now we got some plants here. The bright colors of orchids, passion flowers, and other tropical flowers sparkle in the dark rainforest. The widely scattered plants depend on insects and birds to pick up and spread the pollen from their flowers. Flowers have pollen and usually the, the bees or the wasps are the ones that do get that pollen. But it's, it's uh, helpful to, to the flowers and to them. Right here. <clears throat> Many streams and rivers crisscross the rainforest. Crocodiles, tapirs, and lizards and anaconda snakes are found in, on, and around these waters. Look at that. This one looks like a pig, huh? That one. And then this one is a crocodile. And then there's some, some snakes around this area, too, which you will see on one of these down here. Okay, right here. <clears throat> Just the eyes and nostrils of the crocodile show as it drifts in shallow water. The crocodile is looking for its next meal and they eat fish, birds, or turtles. And the tapir lives on land where it dines on the lush growth of twigs and leaves. Still, it spends lots of time near water and sometimes enjoys a swim. There's an anaconda, there's that snake, okay? The anaconda, it's, it's pretty long. I'll tell you how long they, they reach. The anaconda may reach a length of over 30 feet and a weight of over 300 pounds. Anacondas kill the small animals that they hunt by squeezing them hard to stop their breathing. Oh, I don't want to be by one. <laughs> this is the, what is this one? It looks like a lizard, huh? Yeah, this is one of the lizards. It's a, called a basilisk, I guess. The amazing, anyway, it's a lizard in the world that can stand up and run on its hind legs. Its speed and long toes let it scoot over the surface of the water. Ooh, I think National Geographic had something of these. Have you seen any on there, actually? Okay. Over 200,000 Yano mammies live in the South America's Amazon rainforest. They still hunt and fish the way their ancestors did thousands of years ago. They live in the Amazon rainforest. So there's people there too, the native tribe. More than 200 million people live in the rainforest of the world. The native people find nearly everything they need among the plants and animals that live there. Members of the Yanomomawi tribe break bread, or yeah, bake bread, made from the root of the cassava plant. And let me say this one again, Yanomami tribe. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> but today the lives of all the creatures and plants in the rainforests are in danger. Why do you think that is? They are in danger. <clears throat> it says that 
every minute 100 acres of rainforest trees are being destroyed. That's the size of 50 football fields. Football field is actually a big place, huh? And look, 50 of those put together, that's how much of the rainforest is, is ruined. The most common method of land clearing is called slash and burn. Workers cut down the big trees. They set everything else on fire. Ranchers use most of the cleared land for raising cattle. Some of the cattle, cattle meat finds its way to fast food restaurants in North America where it is sold as hamburgers. Now you know so where some of our hamburgers come from. See, that's where it says, some of the cattle meat finds its way to fast food restaurants in North America where it is sold as hamburgers. Sometimes loggers cut the trees for lumber, mahogany, ebony, and rosewood, which are used to make furniture, pencils, and other products come up from the rainforest. The rainforest and all the living things in it need our help. By helping them, we are really helping ourselves. You can help the rainforest. Write to your representatives in Congress and ask them to work to save the rainforest. Write to groups that protect the rainforest for more ideas and information. Learn as much as you can about the rainforest. So there's little information about how we can help them. Okay, and here's a tropical rainforest of the world. So. There, there's all that rainforest. The rainforest, look at that. This, these here, remember South America has one? Africa, and even in, close to Australia, the islands, they all have the rainforest there. So, that's the end of our rainforest booklet. And make sure you turn to the one that has the quiz on it, okay? And thank you. I know what's this.